Hi, today we're gonna to talk about reinforcements by using a puzzle picture board or a first them board. So to begin, we're gonna talk about using a puzzle board. If you use a puzzle board, you're gonna to wanna to find a reinforcement for your child that's something they like a lot, and if they're willing to complete a task, whether it be functional or academic, in order to earn that particular puzzle picture. So for this one will be Legos. Our child today was going to like Legos. Megan is our child who's going to model this for you. Megan will complete a task and earn the pieces of the puzzle. This particular puzzle has four pieces. When all four are on the puzzle, she will get to earn the picture of the puzzle, which is the Legos. Today we're gonna do one-on-one -on -one correspondence with these elephants in number and counting. All right, Megan, will you give me one, please? Good job, Megan. Here's your puzzle piece. Good job. Megan, will you give me two, please? Good job, Megan. Megan, will you give me three, please? Oh, Megan, one, two, three, four. Let's try again. Three, Megan, try again. Good job, Megan. You're almost earning your Legos. There's your puzzle piece. Last one. Four, Megan. Good job, Megan and you earn your Legos. Good job. Now at this point, being that it's Legos, it's something that might be a bit time consuming, you're gonna to wanna to set a timer so Megan knows how long she has to build the Legos until the next task that you wanna teach your child. Um, we're not gonna tell you how long to set the timer, it depends on the task. For Legos, it could be a lengthier period if Megan likes to build a, a lot. Um, if it's something shorter in a puzzle piece, um, Sometimes kids just want to play with a fidget toy. This might be only three minutes, so you just need to know your child. Next, we're going to talk about how to use a first them board for your child to earn a reinforcer. So a first them board can be made from many things. This is a cutting board from the Dollar Tree. It's sturdy um, and indestructible and um, you just write on it with a marker first or then. You can use a piece of paper or maybe a whiteboard, whatever you have at your house. Um, the symbols come, you can print them off the internet or you could ask your teacher to make some for you for activities and reinforcers that you use at home. Um, as far as the first is always the activity that you're expecting the child to complete. So it could be an academic task or a functional task like eating dinner or taking a shower. Um, and it can be very broad, like first work, and then the reinforcer, or it could be very specific, like first do this reading activity, this reading worksheet, and then earn. Um, we like to put the choices on the back. The then side of your board is always the reinforcement that the child is working for. Always give your child choices, and make sure that the choices are available. For instance, there's walk, on this board and if going for a walk is not an, um, available at this time you'd want to remove that before preventing presenting um, your child with a choice Tracy do you want to work for play-doh or play with blocks play-doh play-doh all right first work then play-doh and what we're going to work on today is just identifying some functional objects Tracy, give me rug. Good job, rug. Give me ruler. Uh-oh, that's sink. Give me ruler. Good job, ruler. Give me pants. Oh, Tracy, first work, then Play-Doh. You're working for Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Give me pants. Good job, pants. Give me corn. Good job, corn. Give me sink. Good job, sink. 
you earn the Play-Doh. So as you saw, as she got distracted and was looking over at the wall, a good thing to do is to redirect your child to what they're working for and what they need to do to earn that. As soon as I said, first work, then Play-Doh, she immediately redirected her attention. And you'll wanna use a timer on your phone or this little one from the Dollar Tree to give them a specific amount of time before moving to the next activity.